Praise the Lord. How are you? It's good to cross over to the new year. And I'm glad for this opportunity given to me by our senior pastor, Pastor Nicholas Ayes, together with his lovely wife, Cynthia. I just want to share with you the word of God briefly in Jesus' mighty name. Our text this morning comes from the book of John, chapter 21, and I'll read it. And I'll put more emphasis on verse 6. That should be my focus in Jesus' name. Let's just have a word of prayer before we, we read the word of God. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your miracles. I thank you for the blessings of God that make rich and that no sorrow. I thank you for everyone that is watching me today. King of glory, I pray that the anointing that breaks the yoke of bondage shall be evident in the lives of everyone here today. I pray, Jesus Christ, that your word, that is spirit and life, will bring life and it will bring a revolution in the lives of everyone today. I love you and I worship you. In Jesus' name, amen. So here we are, John chapter 21, I read. Afterwards, Jesus appeared again to his disciples by the sea of Tiberias. It happened this way. Simon Peter Thomas called Didmas, Nathaniel from Canaan in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples were together. I'm going out to fish, Simon Peter told them, and they said, well, go with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. That night they caught nothing. Verse 4, early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. He called out to them, Friends, haven't you any fish? No, they answered. He said, Throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. When they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. Child of God, I want you to know that this is a new year and congratulations for making it to this new year. I pray that you will, by the grace of God, cast your net deeper in this year 2021. Touch your neighbor and tell them, cast your net deeper. Yes, we are trusting God just like from the scripture that we have read. The Peter spent the whole night without catching any fish. The river was so full of fish, thousands of fish, but they spent the whole night looking just to catch a fish with their coolings. When Jesus told them, have you caught any fish? They said no. He did not advise them to change the river. Instead, he advised them to cast their net deeper. Maybe in 2021, it's your time to cast your net deeper. In 2020, you could have tried to catch something you couldn't. No work, no marriage, no finances, no education, no stable income, no kids, no peace, no success. But let me tell you, child of God, when your life is going opposite direction, it is not about changing your wife. It is not about changing your husband. It's not about changing your family or giving up. It's all about casting your faith deeper in God. Casting your fellowship with Jesus deeper and believing that God will provide. God will heal. God will restore. He will uplift deliver and revive you and bring blessings and favor your way. So, welcome to 2021. I pray God will strengthen you and give you a special gift in Jesus' name. And I pray that you will find peace and joy in the Holy Ghost in this year, in your family. John chapter 20 verse 2, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As my Father has sent me, even so I send you peace in your home, in your family, in your place of work, in your place of worship, 
I speak peace within our borders and even beyond our borders. I pray that this year is not going to be business as usual, that we shall take what belongs to us by faith. Since the day of John the Baptist, the Bible says, the kingdom of God has suffered violence and the violent have taken it by force. I pray that this year, you as a child of God, you as a Christian, you will testify of the Lord's goodness. You will testify of God giving you good health. You will testify of God giving you money. You will testify of God giving you success. You will testify of God giving you salvation, clearing all your debts in the mighty name of Jesus. Despite the COVID-19, you shall make it in Jesus' name. I was speaking on Sunday, telling my, my congregation that you need to prophesy to your phone this year that your phone will not only be a phone whereby you only do Fuliza or Koa Jahazi, you name it. It's going to be a phone that will receive blessings. It's going to be a phone that will not only put you in more debt, but it will be something that God will use to bring you success. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, my harvest is coming. Somebody shout, my harvest is going to be bigger than my seed this year. Amen? First Kings chapter 17 from verse 10 to 16. If you read, we hear about this widow who got a miracle of provision when she obeyed Elijah. Amen? And God gave her her desires. When she gave sacrificially, God gave her her miracle. Hallelujah. Sometimes, let me tell you, friend of child of God, sometimes this year we need to be silent. You know, sometimes when you're silent, I tell you, it, it helps you from many problems. Amen? It helps you from many problems. These children of God that were fishing from our text this morning in, Matthew, in John chapter 21, they were silent until Jesus spoke to them and asked them, what did you catch? Amen. Hallelujah. So this year, don't throw stones to any dog that backs you. There are some things that you just need to be silent. Amen? Because no matter what you do, your enemy will always be at your case. Regardless of how much you try, your enemy will always be at your case. Amen? If you try to dance in water, they will say, you are splashing water on us. They say, you are splashing dust on us. So sometimes I'm telling each other, God, just encourage yourself and relax, knowing that God is fighting every battle for you. Just cast the net deeper and it shall be well in Jesus' name. Amen? Select the people that you want to be with in your life. Select the right people in your life, and they will make your life better and sweeter. Amen? Hallelujah. Don't just be this Tom, Dick, and Harry. No, select who you want to be with in this year, and you will see the success of the Lord coming along your way in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are some people that regardless of what much you try, they will not be satisfied. It's like wrestling with a pig. If you wrestle with a pig, the, oh, both of you will be dirty, but the pig will be happy. But you, you will find yourself so dirty. Amen? So please choose your friends, my, my friend. Choose the right people. Amen? God bless you in the name of Jesus. Psalm says, chapter 1, verses 1, Blessed is he that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, but he who sits in the counsel of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone and the new has come. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. Amen. I pray, child of God, that regardless of the failures you encountered in the year 2020, regardless of the challenges you got, regardless of the barriers, regardless of what you went through, whether you did not succeed, I pray that you may know that this is a new year that the Lord has given us. We are starting it in a new page. All of us have an opportunity to start on a new page. Amen? So don't condemn yourself. Don't feel bad about yourself. Don't pinch yourself so hard. Amen. Just be determined and work hard. Glory to God. Amen. Just be determined and work hard. And you'll enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen.
Matthew chapter 21 verses 22. Matthew chapter 21 verses 22 says, Whatsoever I shall ask in prayer believing, I shall receive it. Amen. Whatsoever you ask in prayer believing, you shall receive it. Amen. I don't know what you have asked today. Just believe and you shall receive it. Amen. Just believe and you shall receive it. Amen. This year you must come and give a testimony. Amen. You've clapped for people long enough. It's time for people to clap for you. Amen. Child of God, Matthew chapter 21 says, Whatsoever you ask in prayer, you ask it. Amen. You ask it and you will receive it. Amen. So may the Lord restore whatever the enemy stole from you from the last year. May the Lord restore a hundred percent, not only fifty percent, but a hundred percent that which the enemy has stolen from you. Amen. If you have stolen promotion, I pray that you may restore that promotion. Amen. If you have stolen contracts from you, I pray that you will receive back those contracts in the name of Jesus. If you have stolen businesses, I pray that you will restore the businesses in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have, if you have stolen jobs from you, Amen. I hear people talking about jobs that have been lost. Jobs in the industries, in the cities. People have lost jobs. I tell you, I pray that God will restore those jobs in Jesus' name. If it is financial breakthrough, I pray that God will restore the finances. Amen. That you will get the financial breakthrough that you so require. Amen. Hallelujah. If it is increase, I speak increase in your life. I speak increase in your life. I speak open doors in your life. I pray that where others have failed, you will succeed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where others have failed, you will succeed. Just cast your next deeper and you will bear with me a testimony. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1, verses 3. As we almost come to the end of our service this morning, the Bible says, I'll just stand there quickly. Genesis chapter 1, a verse that we all know, chapter 1, verses 1 and 3. This is what the Bible says. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light. Hallelujah. And there was light. Amen. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Don't judge yourself badly looking at your history. Don't judge yourself badly looking at your mistakes. Amen? God sees you with the eyes of destiny. Hallelujah! He promises you, and he says his promises are yes and amen. Amen? Whatever you have received from God, nobody can take it away from you. Amen? God wants to give you a legacy, and I'm sure it's going to be done. I love you, and I pray for you daily that you shall experience God in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let me just pray for you, child of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my viewer. And Lord, I know some of them have travailed in prayer. Some of them have learned so much lessons in the past year. And as we have spoken this word today, I pray that this prodigal son, you will give them a second chance. That every one of us will come back to their senses. To know that God, you have opened arms to receive us. That you don't judge us from our history. That you are so caring and so concerned that everything that we do may come to a success. Give us prosperity because your prosperity is a guarantee. Lord, let every failure be behind us. Let every sin be forgiven. Hallelujah. Because the verdict has already been passed. And help us, oh God, as your children, be committed to the dreams that we have. Help us to be disciplined so that we can put our eyes and believe 
that review all, not some things, not many things, but all things are possible. Oh, Jehovah God, thank you because you are on our side. Like a woman who has been in traveling in prayer, in, in soul, traveling to receive a child. Lord, when that child comes, the Bible says in John chapter 16, verses 21, they remember no anguish because a man has been born in the world. I pray, Jehovah God, that that is our portion. I pray, King of glory, that you will bless us in the city, you will bless us in the countryside, you will bless the work of our hands, you will use us mightily, and as a house on top of a hill, our lives will shine for you. King of glory, receive the praise, receive the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Give him a clap if you love him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. Amen.